Hello, I'm back again, Lutra FM, with another FM24 series. Now, the Socio uh, Euphony Challenge is not going anywhere. I'm just reducing how many days I do it. So instead of doing it four days a week, which I was doing before I had all the issues with moving out and the internet problems, um, I'm doing it twice a week, Mondays and Tuesdays. And then starting today, I'm starting a new series on FM. I did, um, I did do a poll and a build a nation challenge was most voted so then i was looking at who could be the most obscure nation i can do a build a nation say greenland come up so i thought let's look into that i was really considering that but unfortunately um the the files aren't out there really there's a few but they're not really that that good they're not that stable there's no kits for them so i'd rather just leave that um but basically I'm going to start a save in a building nation save in Georgia. The team I've picked is Dynamo Tillabissi. Now, there's a reason for that. I'm a kid of the 90s, and even though I supported Man United, um, certain players stood out, and there was a player called Georgie Kinkoazzi, who used to play for um, Man United rivals Man City, and he also played for the Georgia national team as well. I was also considering Ketz Bayer, who played for Newcastle, but I just preferred Kinkoazzi. So, Kinklatsi basically, um, if I show you on here now, this is Georgie Kinklatsi. Uh, like I said, I think if you're from the 90s, you'll know who he is. If you're, any, if you're any younger than that, you might not know unless you're a real historian on Man City or football in general. But yeah, Georgie Kinklatsi, we'll just click on here. So, he was his first club he played for a youth career was um, Dynamo Tilabisi, and then I think he went to their, what their, probably their rivals, uh, Meritev Meritevi. Went back to Dynamo, did really well there. 41 goals and 65 appearance, uh, appearances. Then he went on loan to uh, Saarbrück and, and weirdly Boca Juniors, which is quite funny. And then he went to Man City um, and he was really like a cult hero at Man City. They absolutely loved him. He got 20 goals, 106 games for them. And then he went off to end his career basically at Ajax, went on loan to Derby, went to play for 80 games for Derby. Um, and then he just you know, finished his career up as it is. And then for the Georgia national team, over a 13-year period, he played 54 games and scored eight goals. So um, a very good career for somebody playing in such a small footballing nation at the time. Um, but yeah, so that's why I decided them. The other contender was, um, the other contender was Romania, who somebody voted for. I, If I, wanted, if I was to be honest, I, I probably preferred Romania because I think, It'd have been a little bit easier, but I like a challenge. Um, so we're starting with Dynamo Tilabisi. And um, yeah, so when I come back in a sec, we'll go through them on Football Manager and I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the squad, the board expectations and all that lot. The aim of this save is basically is to try and win a European competition with Dynamo Tilabisi and trying to get the Georgian national team as far as possible in international competitions as well. So let's see how it goes. But anyway, I'm back in a minute and then we'll start cracking with the save. Hooray! Right, so here we are. I've uh, took over, as I said, as Georgie Kinklatsi. I managed to get a decent photo of Georgie Kinklatsi now at the age that he's at. Um, and basically, um, put it onto the avatar and then try to give him a fairly similar hairstyle to what he had or what he would have had um but yeah this is like i said so we took over now so um they have a 54,549 stadium which is ridiculous when you think about it. they've got exceptional youth recruitment average youth facilities and um adequate training facilities um, I don't know what the junior coaching is like. I'll have a look at me. Obviously, we haven't really got much of a transfer budget, but I mean, to start off with, it's probably going to be mostly a youth only save until I can get the money rolling in. Um, we are in the Champions League first qualifying round, but realistically, we don't know how we're going to do in that. Um, we won the title last season as well, so we're probably the favourites, are we? Um, they've won the European Cup Winners' Cup before. Okay. That's new. I didn't know that. Um, so instead of being the first, instead of being the first Georgian team to win the European trophy, we're going to try and be the second team, but do it again, basically. Anyway, right. Uh, 
let's have a look so this is the likely loan um, likely lineup um i don't know if all of my face packs have transferred over they should have if anybody has any face packs for players in the georgian league please let me know in the comments section um, or any links to them i would appreciate it would I, I always like to make sure i have the players faces on there um i don't recognize any players in this team but i'm not expected to um so yeah so the expectations is do not sign players over the age of 30 which is fine work within the wage budget which i try and do um challenge for the georgian national title be competitive in the local cup and be competitive in the Champions League. Now, I don't know what that means by being competitive in the Champions League. I assume it doesn't necessarily mean I have to get through the qualifying round. I think it's just, I think they're just happy to be in that competition in the first place. So, yeah, that's that really. And then the fans want us to qualify for the Europa Conference League. So I think there's no expectations for us to do well in the Champions League qualifying. They just want us to get into the Europa Conference League. And then maintain the club status as the most reputable team in Georgia. Get the better of rivals' locomotive if you uh, have to play against them. Be competitive against Torpedo as well. Um, just get rid of this because I don't usually bother with these. And then this is the Georgia national team. So we sort of know the best player for Georgia is um, Ava Donna, as they like to call him in Napoli probably soon to be PSG, but um, they are currently 77th in the nation's rankings. We want to try and get them as high as possible up there. Um, their stadium is 54,549. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that stadium. Highest world ranking they've ever been is 42. So we, we want to try and get higher than 42 in the league rankings. That's one of the aims here. So, yeah, so... Um, where is he? Is that him? No, that's not him. That's not him. Where is he? Um, oh, there he is. Hot prospects. So, this is our probably our best player. Um, he is a winger, and they're saying our best formation is a four. It's like a diamond one, but we're not going to do that. But yeah, he is our best player. Played twenty-two times for Georgia already. Scored ten goals at twenty-one years old. Um. Yeah, he's an absolute superstar. We've got to make sure that we play a tactic that suits his style better as best as possible. I'm just seeing if I'm just trying to have a look to see if there's any other players I recognise. I don't think there is. Maybe him? No. Um, but yeah. I've heard of him. So yeah, so we'll have a look at the squad properly in a second. We'll just get out of this. Uh, let's just get through this. Set that. I do this very quickly, by the way. Um, we'll do the tactic in a minute. Let's just have a look at... No, actually, we'll do the tactic now for the Georgian national team. So they're saying wing play. I assume the reason for that is because of Avadonna. So why is it not letting me... Oh, there we go. we do that. It's all right. It's, it's just... There you go. Um, that's worrying. We've got no right backs at the moment. I don't know why centre backs. I'm hoping that will change. But yeah, this is basically what they're saying is well, where's Cavadonna then? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Oh no, is this my oh actually this is um I feel so stupid now. That's Dynamo Dilabissi. We want to do this one. Oh, I feel like a bloody wally now. Right, so they're playing Gag and Press. We'll do that one. See, this is what I wanted to do. All right. Come here. Stupid. My touchpad on my mouse is so unpredictable on, that, on this new new laptop. Part. There you go. So, again, he's not in the starting lineup. Why is he not in the starting lineup? Maybe he's injured. Anyway, I'm assuming he's injured, but he'll be the here basically playing this one. This will be the tactic that we use um, for now. And then, um, so what I'll do now is I will, first of all, change this tactic because we haven't got the players to suit this tactic. So we just go here and then we'll try route one. Keep it simple. 4-3-3 three, three wide. 
just hope that we have players. Maybe it's because it's pre-season and that's why. But yeah, that's basically what we're probably going to go with. Uh, let's just go through these quickly. Nothing really to tie on here. Right, so what I'm going to do then is, in a minute, um, when I come back, we'll have got through pre-season, get it all done, and then basically we'll just crack on with the season bit by bit, and then hopefully we'll play a few games uh, by the end of this episode, and also maybe even a Georgia national team game as well. So thank you for persevering with the intro and all that so far. I'm hoping that you'll enjoy the journey that we take together, and I'll be back in a second. Right, so here we are. We've done pre-season. Um, we won two friendlies and lost one. Um, we've done a few transfers, but we didn't really have any money. So it's mostly been free transfers. I won't bother showing you any because the likelihood is none of them will probably work out, but we'll see. Um, we're playing our first game, which is the Georgian Super Cup, which is basically, I think, like the Georgian version of the Champions League. So I don't know any of these players, so this is all just completely new to me. He looks like our best player, um, 31 years old, called Nike Okria Shibi. I'm just going to call him Torniki Shibi. Torniki Shibi, there you go. Um, yeah, I'll just call him Torniki, Tor 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 not Torniki, Torniki. I should just call him Nike, shouldn't I? That would probably be a lot easier. Uh, these Eastern Europeans, they, do, they don't have that bloody complicated name. Right. Let's see how we get on. If it'll let me. I don't know what's going on here. Right, there we go. We are cooking. We are in the, 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 the blue kits, I think. This is very slow. I haven't. I need to, I need to change this slightly. This uh, this new laptop looks a lot better. There we go. That's a great start. One nil already. The, the the graphics just look a lot. It just looks a lot crisper and a lot nicer. The uh, watching the players moving around. Um, why is it going really slow though? I've just upped the speed. Is he going to get a second one? He does. Why is this playing up? extended oh i know oh that was just a replay sorry forgot to take replays off we just want key highlights we don't want extended highlights that's better actually now it's too quick sorry everyone you'd have, you'd have thought i'd get this sorted before we started this one it's like this mouse pad it's like pulling oh, i don't know it's just really bad, the mouse pad, for some reason. It's going to get take some getting used to. Right, here we go. Let's get on with the game now. Let's concentrate on the game. Look at how crisp, look how beautiful that pitch looks. Going to get another one. Oof. He seems like a good player for us. Ossi, uh, Ossim, no, Ossi from, uh, from Masha Vili. Ossi. Masha Vili, Osik Masha Vili, Osik Masha Vili. There you go. Takes me a while to sort it all out with my head. Yeah, Osik. Oh my god, we've got an Osik. We've got a. I can't pronounce any of these players' names. I'm so sorry. At this point, you're probably clicking off going, I can't put up with him. Drive me mad. Just try and try and just mute me and just watch the play. That's probably the best thing to do. But yeah, we're all over them at the moment. I think Torpedo are one of our rivals as well, so let's hope we can beat this team. The fans want us to uh, beat them if we play them. Um, They got Robert. No, it's not Robert Perez. I thought that was Robert Perez then. Philippe Perez. Who have we got in the centre defence here? Nobody. 
that's quite concerning that we don't have any centre back on the subs bench. Right, I was just looking to see where my dog bathroom was. Um, right. We're really lacking in centre midfielders as well. They're starting to get into the game as well, Torpedo, so that's not good. Torpedo with the throw in. Oh, that was a bit of techers there by their player. I think he was a Brazilian, Jorginho or something like that. I would like to see this game out. Oh, we might get another goal here. Oh, unlucky. Similar to Scotland last night. Unlucky not to score. Um, that second goal. Right. Let's see if we can get a, a decisive winner here. Some nice football here. Poor defensive play there by them to give us that goal. Great anticipation by um, Ioba Ioba Vashvili. I swear every single uh, every single Georgian player ends with Billy at the end of it, so that's going to be really annoying after a while. But yeah, two 0 up. Good little result for the first game. Let's leave this. Let's. This might be the only trophy I win this season, so I'm going to make the most of it. It's a beautiful shirt as well. If anybody knows where I can get a Dynamo um, Tivolasi home shirt like that, or XL, because I'm a, I'm a fatty, um, please let me know. Beautiful to see. Beautiful. All right. Good little win there start the episode on apparently, apparently playing a team called Shakura next already won a trophy in my first match in charge how about that finances aren't the best though right then um, you know the score if you watched any of the other saves I'll be back in a sec for the next part right we're back now with our first league game of the season um, we're playing a team called Shakura it just makes me think it's instantly of Shakira. Um, the hips don't lie. But yeah, right. Let's crack on. After a few games, I'll figure, I can figure out who's going to be our key players and then I can uh, get behind them a bit more and get some sort of a, what they call an attachment to the players. That usually makes it a good game if you, if you start liking the players in the squad. Uh, nothing so far, no highlights after 11 minutes play. They seem to be the better team, but we've had we've had one shot, but at least it's been on target, so at least it's that. Next, highlight to us now. Nicely done. Beautiful lofted cross there. Ooh, good save by the keeper. We get the rebound? No, we don't. Um, by the way, thank you to the people who did watch the fake shirt um, video. I would appreciate that um, if you commented and let me know which one was your favourite shirt that I that I got. Um, I think the Leeds, uh, the Leeds wacky shirt that I got, I think it was pink, I can't remember, but um, I really like that one. I just wish it was a little bit uh, not so tight on me, but it is what it is. Like I said, if you're... Not as big as me. Oh, we are going to score here. Get in. Go on. I don't know why that's suddenly stalled there. Anyway, um, yeah, the Leeds one. So just let me know in the comment section if you watched the video. Um, just let me know which shirt that you, you thought was the best one. Uh, they're all, like I said, they're all pretty good quality, to be honest. When I think of fake football shirts, I just think like, they're just the worst. But they're getting a lot better at making these fake ones now. So it makes it a lot more difficult for people to figure out what's the real ones and what's the fake ones. 
So yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it entertaining and educational if you wanted to look at buying football shirts. Um but yeah, just let me know. I'm gonna do I'll be doing some more fake football shirts videos soon enough. I'm expecting some more shirts next week, so there'll be one next week. Uh, I'll still be doing the mystery football shirt unveilings as well. Anyway, one nil up. Nice little pass there for Julia. Ooh. Right, let's see. Oh. Uh, take Simon off. This mouse pad, honestly, I know I keep going on about it already. No, I don't want to do that. Um. Keep trying to change. I keep changing the touchpad settings, the mouse settings, to try and get it just right. And uh, it just seems so temperamental. It just it work. It, it's really difficult to drag things across with the mouse when you're holding it. Um, like I said, it's really annoying because it costs me a fair bit of money. This laptop. I don't really want to send it back. I think I just need to get used to how it is. I'm used to. I'm used to my mouse pad and touchpad being a little bit less all over the place. After a while, I'll probably just get used to it and it will be fine. Anyway, 1 0 up against Shakura. Shakura. Not much has happened in this game. The 1 0 win is a 1 0 win. Let's see if we can extend that win, though, that lead. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Ayoba. Ayoba. That's what I'm going to call him. I'm not going to try and pronounce his full name. Let's see if he can get a hat trick. He's still got a few minutes left. You never know. Ah, not going to happen. Good result, though. Praise him. So he's already my favourite. Uh, Jabuli Oyo Bash Vili. I'm just going to call him uh, Jaduli. I can call him by his first name, it's easier. Right then. Let's just. I'm not even going to. Um, there's no point in me. Usually, what I do is I'll go off and then holiday it, but there you go. Computer's so bloody quick, I can holiday two days and seconds. Not showing off or anything, I'm just saying. This 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 uh, laptop I've got, if anybody wants to know what it is, it's an MSI and Vector. Um, they have them in Curry's for about 1,800 quid. Um, very powerful machine. The, the, the laptop I had before was actually pretty good, but to be honest, after a while, I think there was some, some sort of issue with the fan, I don't know. It just wasn't performing as well as it used to. And luckily, because I had the money to get a new one, I decided to get a new one while I had the money, instead of waiting until the other laptop just deteriorated and then not having the money to buy it. Uh, right, so we're playing Dilla now. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully I can get a season done pretty quickly on this, on this laptop. Um... I've got an offline save with a Swedish team, and I've been I played it yesterday, and I managed to get quite a quite a few months done in a short period of time on this laptop. That's a good sign. And on this one, I've got quite a few leagues loaded up because I've got Russia, Serbia. I've got literally any like most of the, most of the Eastern European leagues loaded, and also a couple of the top leagues, top countries loaded like England, Germany, France, Italy. So I've got quite a lot, and I've got a uh, a big player database to work with as well. I think it was 120,000 players. I just wanted to test out, see how good this laptop is. And it seems to be quite rapid already. It's good. Oh no, that's not good. Stefano Russell scores for Dilla, 1 0. Let's see what our boys are made of now.
nothing so far. Try and demand a bit more, see if that'll fix it. We've had zero shots in this game. There we go. Here's where we change. Oh, nearly. At least it's a shot, though. Not a very good one, though. Right. 1 0 down at half time. Hopefully, half time talk will spur them on. First highlight looks like it's going to us. I think we're lacking a creative midfielder, really, in the centre of midfield. So maybe we need to look and get in one of them. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful bit of skill. We're not going to have that lad, this lad for long. He's going to be off to Astor's better than us. Um, he's the new Cavadonna. I'll be calling up to the Georgian national team. In a, in a, uh, let me see if he's actually already in the... You already play for Georgia? No, under nine, under nineteen. So there we go. He's been called up straight away. I know it's a bit biased to call up one of my players, but he looks like a right good prospect in the making. Ah, that's not good. So we're having our first proper loss of the season by the looks of it. Still plenty of time though, so you never know what we could do with being a bit more positive. Um. Rate the players and see what happens now. There we go. Beautiful cross. Oh, shame. No. Karuna. Ienjo. Romanowski. Roman. Yeah, Roman. No, Roman Bonsky. Roman Bonsky. Oh, that ball was disallowed. Right, we've got a free kick. Let's see what we can do from this. Yes, get in. We're back in the game. Come on. Get that, that ball. All over. Let's get that ball. That's it. No wasting time now. We need our main man here. Duduli. We need him to turn things around now. I've just called him up to the bloody Georgian national team. He needs to uh, prove me right. Uh, we haven't got a central defender. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to take him off. Our main man off. Oof, good save by our keeper there, keeping us in the game. We've got a corner there. Let's see what our other striker options are like. Let's see what Gordy can do. <coughs> oh, let's take him off. Still got time. We can still get an equaliser. A lot of knackered players already. I'm sorry, my voice. My voice always sounds croaky. Like I might have to go to the doctors about it because it's starting to, starting to make me paranoid. I think I've got something up with me. I think it's living in the flat I used to live in with all the bloody mould and that. I think it's killed my vocal cords. Uh, let's see what I can do. Try back in. Fire up. See what that does. Last throw of the dice, really. I mean, we've been lucky to get a goal when we've only had a 0.110 XG, only one shot on target. Um, I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, no, it's a free kick for them. So if anything, they're going to win. Unless we do something major here. <clears throat> oh, here we go. You never know. No, oh, that's not helping. Forward, forward. No, don't lose the ball. Forward. Come on. That's it. There we go. Right. There we go. That's it. That's it. Don't lose the ball. Don't lose the ball. Good ball. Use that space. Yes, get in. Go on, ditto. Oh, has it been disallowed? Oh, you son of a... They haven't got VAR in the Georgian League, unfortunately. 
Right then, you know the score. I'll see you in a sec. Right, so we are now um, playing a team called Gagra. Never heard of them. I, to be honest, I don't know anything about Georgian football, so this will be educational for me as well. Um, I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. We will soon find out when we play them. Hopefully after a couple of seasons, I'll know who the good teams are and who the bad teams are. Hopefully our team's one of the good teams. Let's uh let's see if Ayo uh Ayo slash Billy um can do well again. Especially now he's in the Georgian national team. For now. I'll probably click um without realising I'll probably click suggested squad and he'll be back in the under nineteen. <laughs> right, Tula. Oh that was a dirty foul there. Right, who's taking the penalty there? <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, Apuji, there you go. Has he got particularly good at penalty taking skills? I think he's a centre back, so that does make me think. Let's have a look. Penalty taking eight, and he's supposed to be our best penalty taker. What about our strikers? Hold on. Are you back, Billy? Seven. Yeah, it's probably right then. Four. Yeah. Yeah, we need to improve on penalty taking, I think. If we ever go to a like a knockout stage and ends up going to penalties, we are screwed. But nice to see us bounce back from that loss. Hopefully we can extend this lead. Beautiful ball. Oh look at that. I don't know why this is jittering a bit. Um, no idea. A laptop like this shouldn't be performing that like that, so I don't know. Any computer experts, let me know in the comments, please. Maybe I need to do some tinkering with it. I bought this from Curry's, so I'm not expecting it to be bought like rubbish. I would understand if I bought it from somebody on eBay, for instance, or anything like that. Oh, look at that. We are scoring some beautiful goals here. Absolutely destroying them. I end Jock. So maybe we'll do well domestically every season, and then the aim will probably just try and be like get do better and better in Europe, I suppose, which is fine. I don't mind that because it kind of takes the pressure off a bit. If you're uh, if you're dominating in the domestically, then you know you're always going to have a chance of getting into Europe. Some might be the odd season where we don't win the title and that, but I think overall, I think this team's really good. And the other teams don't know what to do. Go on, Giroud. Oh, come on, you're usually better than that. Three 0 up though. After fifty-seven minutes played, he's pretty good. Lovely over the top ball. Rudy, come on, man! Two opportunities. I think he's. Uh, I think he's not. His head's not in the game today. Don't need to take anybody off at the moment until they get a bit tired. Keep on Rudy for a bit. Maybe in about ten minutes, I might take him off. Actually, I'll take him off now. Give a day view to another striker, see how he does. I won't uh let me try and pronounce his name. Sugar Rob, that's so much easier to say than Ayo Bashabili. Oh no, beautiful over the top ball there. Keeper was left left there, but luckily hit the bar. Um yeah. but yeah, nice win there. Three 0 Happy days. Good. Good result. Um, I think we've got a Georgian national team game next, if I'm wrong, if I'm right. Yeah, 
So we're playing Romania in seven days in a um, European Championship qualifying game. That'll be a tough game. And then we've got Scotland in the friendly. So what I'll do is I'll be back in a sec with the ready for us to have the game against Romania. And then that'll be the last game of the episode. So just bear with us for two seconds. Right, I'm back for our first um, international game with the Georgian national team. Now, for some reason, um, Cavadonna is not in the squad. Um, what I did is I found it really weird because when I started this game, Cavadonna wasn't in the um, squad. Now, Cavadonna is a player who I can't pronounce his actual name, but everybody just calls him Cavadonna. He plays for Napoli, Georgian player, very highly rated. Had a great season with Napoli, not last season, the season before, where they won the Serie A title. He is highly rated. He's very, I think he's worth, I think he's valued at like over 100 million on the game. And so, and so I called him up initially when I started the save. And then in between, I've holidayed and stuff. So the AI, the AI is in charge of selecting the squad. And for some reason, and there's no reason because he's not injured, he's not suspended or anything like that. They haven't caught, they haven't, he's not in the squad. And I don't know why. He's not, he's not retired from international football or anything stupid. He's only 21 years old. So I just find it really weird. Our, one of our best players, our, the goalkeeper, uh, this goalkeeper here plays for Valencia. He is amazing. So he's another best player. But yeah, I don't understand. Anyway, so I can't do nothing about now. Hopefully when the next game is played, um, well, not the friendly against Scotland, but the next proper game played, I'll try and make sure he's definitely in the, in the squad because it is silly that he's not. I think there's some sort of bug. If you've ever managed, if you've managed the Georgian national team on FN24 and you've had this issue happen, can you let me know? Anyway, right, we're playing Romania. We've got a few players lacking in match fitness, which is never good. Romania, a very strong team. First highlight in the game's already gone to them. We just gotta do our best and hope for the best, really. Good save. Luckily, we got a good goalkeeper. Uh, Mama Dash Vili. One of the many Vili players that we have in Georgian football. Then again, there's only one Vili in the. I don't know there's one, two, oh, there's three, there's four. Sorry, I wasn't looking at it properly. There's, there's four. There's four players basically in the uh, Georgian team with Billy at the end of it, so it must be like Jones and Smith, really, basically. Equivalent of that. Right, nil nil. At least we had, well, I thought we had a shot, but it's not come up on the. Oh, there you go. We've had two shots now, we're getting into the game a bit. Throw into us. Like we're wearing like an Ajax shirt. Oof, good save. Corner. Floats it in, headed out. Have another go at it. Offside. Nothing yet. Let's see what the second half brings us in a minute. Um, we 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 seem like the better team. We if you look at the stats, our XG is not is one point zero eight. Not that that always matters in a game, but we seem to be dominating. Have we have much of the possession? No, they've had slightly more possession, but we seem to be better. Right, I've just demanded a bit more. Maybe that might backfire on me because I think that maybe might have been a harsh reaction from me, as we are only nil nil. It's not like we're losing. Good tackle though. Right, we've got the ball. Arazovi, no, sorry, Azarovi, sorry. Oh yes, I thought that went over then. Get in. I don't know why it's juddering. Why is it juddering? It shouldn't be juddering. 1-0. We are surprising Romania right now. And we've got a free kick. We can extend this lead very quickly. Oh, good save by their goalie. Romania was my uh, second. It was uh, voted second in, when I was asking people on the community page 
what teams they wanted me to do it in. Now, I don't know whether I've got the, the wording right when I said build a nation. What I meant by build a nation was take a team in that country and also manage the national team and try and get as, as, as far as possible. Whereas I think build a nation might be slightly different than what people are interpreting because I know um, second year cars are doing one with Malta. I just don't like each to their own. He's enjoying it, but I just, it seems like a lot, a hell of a lot more work to do it how he's doing it where he's trying to get every team in that in that league in that country um as good as possible and i just I, with the loan the loan um what's it called it says loan something i can't remember um but he basically buys about 100 million players a season and then loans them out to the other clubs in that in that country i just can't be bothered with that i'd rather just see how far i can get with a with a team in that country I always prefer managing small teams or small or big teams in small nations. See how far I can get them. But they were close then. All right. Who's playing for the Spanish? There you go. Uh, who's he got? He's got a lot of goalies on the bloody team. We've only got him. He's the only player we can put on. Our striker options are lacking. Look at this though, match momentum. We are all over them. But you watch this game in 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, we better take these players off. Both got a yellow card. Uh, and then we take our right back off. We take you off. We got any wingers. My mouse is playing up again. They'll have to do right now. We just hope that we can grind out this one nil win. Oh no, here we go. Nope, good header out. Nope, lose possession though. Hoping for a goalkeeper error here. I will be annoyed now if we draw 1 1 because I feel like we have been way better than them. Oh, we go. That's that's not fair. I'm not happy about that at all. I felt like we should have won that game. Don't get me wrong, a loss, a, a draw is better than a loss. We weren't, we weren't the favourites in in this game. It was going to be Romania that was probably going to win, but that to, to concede near the end there was really annoying. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Um, thank you to people who've been watching this episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it for what it is. I can't get this. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, yeah, thank you to everyone. Um, feel free to like the video, um, subscribe, and leave a comment. I would appreciate a comment. If you've got any suggestions of players that are like second nationality, players I can call up for the Georgian national team, let me know. Um, I think I called up a, a Brazilian called Flamarion, but the assistant manager decided not to pick him for this squad. But he's a Brazilian player that that we've managed to convince to um, be part of the Georgian national team. So I'll try and call him up instead uh, instead of somebody else and see if I can get him at for Georgia. So at least we can he can be an option for us. But because he's not going to be playing for Brazil, he's not good enough. But anyway, I'll be back to will I be back tomorrow? What day is it today? Today is Thursday, Friday. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode, and then. Sunday, I think. So anyway, I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.